Alright, okay. son. No. Yes. Um, how's everyone feeling today? Is everyone doing okay? Everyone doing okay? Alright, okay. I'm gonna start off with sharing a quick demo of one of the AIs I built, okay? Now, this is an AI that I built for my mom. It's called Dr. Energy AI. Now, basically, this AI can answer any questions about health. Uh, like, you can ask about what's diabetes, what's insomnia, and you can answer any questions about health, okay? Now, I've trained the AI on a specific data set, which means I crawled every single page of the website. So the AI can sell her products for her automatically, set appointments for her automatically, and generate leads for her automatically. How many of you want to see a quick demo? Raise your hand. You want to see a quick demo? Huh? Okay. So for example, if I ask, what, tell me more about Energy Eye Mask, which is one of the products that she has, right? That helps with insomnia, etc. So the AI will say, ah, the Energy Eye Mask is truly a remarkable product. It can do wonders for your tired eyes. This eye mask is designed to improve blood circulation, especially the micro circulation around the area, blah, blah, blah. But that's not all. The Energy Eye Mask also works wonders in reducing eye wrinkles, etc. One of the unique features of the energy eye mask is its ability to emit beneficial far infrared energy, etc. And and it says it's priced at 149 and I can assure you it's worth every penny. Let me know if you have any other questions. Okay? And I said, what is the link to buy? And it gave me the link to buy. So when I click over here, I get energy eye mask. Is that pretty powerful? Yeah. Yes, huh? Okay. So the, the the AI is able to sell for her automatically. Now this is something that ChatGPT cannot do because this requires a custom AI to be able to do this, okay? Later I'll show you the steps on how I build the custom AI like that. Okay. Uh, when I ask where is the shop and how can I book an appointment? And it gives the address of my mom's shop uh, over here. Mom, is this the correct address? Oh yes. Yeah, correct, right? Okay, very good. And then this is the, the, the WhatsApp number and the email, etc. Okay. And then I even program the AI to handle any objection that people have. So I say, my, my wife thinks the eye mask is too expensive. And the AI will say, oh, I completely understand your concern about the price of the eye mask. It's important to consider the value and benefits that the eye mask provides. The energy eye mask is not just a regular eye mask. It reutilizes far infrared energy and releases negative ions to improve eye health and relieve various eye comforts. Think about the long-term benefits you can help uh, bring to your wife's eye health and overall well-being. Additionally, the eye mask is designed to be durable and long-lasting, ensuring that she can enjoy its benefits for a long time. If you are still unsure, I would recommend visiting our energy recharge center. Our friendly staff can provide a demonstration of the eye mask, etc. So I program like it sells in my specific script. I program it in my specific sales script because I've done sales, like, I've done thousands of sales calls, etc. So I've programmed the AI with my specific sales script on how I sell. Okay. And you can answer any questions like what causes diabetes and you can explain. Oh, there's type 1 diabetes, type 2 diabetes, etc. Okay? And okay, let's try let's try a prompt. Okay? Okay, anyone has any prompt that you want to share? Anyone wants to try any prompt? Okay, I'm, gonna, I'm just going to try. Is uh, nasi lemak, uh, okay? is, le, das, uh, is nasi lemak uh, good for uh, diabetic people? Okay. Let's see what the AI says. Okay? Now I didn't bring, like I didn't like this is purely from artificial intelligence. Okay? As a health expert, I would generally not recommend nasi lemak for diabetic individuals. Nasi lemak is a traditional Malaysian dish that typically consists of um, of uh, things such as fried rice, uh, fried chicken, sambal, spicy sauce, fried anchovies, and boiled things. Okay. Nasi lemak is high in carbohydrates, okay? Uh, they need to manage their carbohydrate intake to maintain stable blood sugar levels, etc. etc. Was that pretty powerful? Uh, yes. Okay, then everyone, let's give the AI a quick round of applause, okay? Yes. A quick round of applause, okay? Now, so the AI can also collect their leads, etc. And all the information, like my mom will receive the daily information of all the uh, messages that people send to the AI, so she knows what questions people are asking, okay? And the best part is this, okay, you can write this down. So this AI can be connect, connected to Zapier, which means it can be connected to 1,000 plus apps. For example, let's say someone sent a Facebook comment, the AI can write the response and then send a comment back. Let's say someone sent an email, the AI can send an email back. Someone can send an email and then the AI can WhatsApp them. Something like that. It can, uh, it can integrate with WhatsApp, email, Instagram, almost thousands of apps. It can be people send a Facebook, Insta, uh, Facebook message, it will zap it to a Google Sheet or something, and then it's up to you. The world is your oyster, and the possibilities are endless. Okay, okay. Now, so that's that's Doctor Energy AI. I built like twenty other AIs like that. I built a lawyer AI. They can write contracts automatically. I built tutor AI. You can tutor kids, and the, and how tutor AI is programmed is that it's, it doesn't give people the answer. It, ask people questions so that they come to the answer. Because like, if you're a tutor, you don't want to just give the student the answer, right? You want to ask them the right questions so that they come to the answer itself, okay? Now, so why did I build AI apps, okay? Because since I was young, my mom has worked tirelessly, tirelessly sacrificing time in the family to build her business. 
So this inspired me to find a way to help her and create more freedom. That's why I embarked on a journey to um, to help her and create more uh, to help explore cutting edge technologies like AI and blockchain. Okay? Now, so since I was young, right, my mom would work 7 a.m. to 11 p.m., which is 16 hours a day, six days a week. Okay, super super hard. The first 10 years of a business, that's what she did. Okay, that's why since young I told myself, if only I can help my mom to build a business that doesn't require so much of a time and still can add a lot of value to people and still can help her make money, etc. Okay, now. And because my mom, uh, and, and, and in this whole process, in 2013, my bro my, both my brother and my father left the family. Okay? In 2013, right, my brother left the family when he was 21 years old. All he did, uh, like he wrote a letter, okay, put it in his room, and he disappeared. And for two years, right, I didn't even know if he was dead or alive. He just left the family like that. Okay? And then because of that, right, that was a very big blow to my dad. So after he read the letter and all that, we, uh, a few months later, he also left the family because he couldn't take such a such a blow. Okay, and that was why uh, at the point of time I was very very depressed because like my whole family disintegrated. Okay, and that just left my sister, my mom, and and me. Okay, and in twenty sixteen, my sister left the family to become a Catholic nun in Spain. So that just leaves my 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 my, my mom and me. Okay. And, but my mom was still very busy. She did a lot of health talks to LTA, MOE, NPO, and other large organizations. Sometimes even like 10 p.m. or 11 p.m., right, she's still answering calls, she's still doing deliveries, she's still doing work shows, etc. So I told myself, what if like, I could duplicate her? What if I could create an artificial intelligence of herself that can help her sell automatically, that can help her do all this, so that you can free up more of her time, okay? And my mom worked so hard, right, because she has a strong mission and calling that we don't have to depend on medication and hospitals. Instead, people can heal naturally by the power of their bodies. Okay, so because she she believes so much in the mission, she's able to work so hard. And I told myself, if only I can help her to accomplish this mission without costing her too much of her time and energy. Okay, and that's why I told myself, if only I can help my mom to build a business that can free up her time. I remember even during my NS passing out career, I didn't even dare to invite my mom because I knew she would be busy and I didn't want her to feel bad. So like, imagine everyone else got their parents all coming for their passing out parade and all that. Right? I was the only one alone. And I just saw like everyone else having their whole parents, uh, like all their parents coming, and yeah, I was just there, like just walking around aimlessly. Or so my friend was quite nice, came here to take a picture with me. Okay, and so my my mission to help my mom. It was a depressing time. It was a solo journey for her, and I discovered the potential. So in twenty twenty one, I ventured to Silicon Valley. Okay, I went to Silicon Valley for one whole month. Okay, I I, I yeah, I spent two months in America. One month I spent in Silicon Valley, and then another month in Austin, Texas. And when I was in Silicon Valley, I actually met uh, Tim Drake, who was a billionaire venture capitalist in Silicon Valley. That's how I went to Silicon Valley in 2021 for one whole month, and I dived into AI, blockchain, NFTs, and all the latest cutting edge tech. I met Tim Drake, who is a billionaire venture capitalist, and I pitched to him about my businesses, etc. And in the process, I met a lot of like programmers, uh, start CEOs, startup founders, etc. And I dared, dived deep about AI. So I've been building all this since uh, 2021. It's been an awesome journey so far. I was speaking on stage and Tim Draper was in the audience as well, okay? Now, I, I also flew to Israel uh, earlier this year in March. And then I, these are some of the tech developers that I met in Israel. Now, Israel is a very strong tech scene. Even our military defense, Singapore's military defense, we get the technology from Israel, okay? And I went to meet the embassy, uh, I went to the embassy of Singapore in Tel Aviv. I met the ambassador over there. And then we had lunch with the with the Israel partners as well. Okay. Now, so when I built Dr. Energia AI, it's like an AI assistant that can work 24-7. Okay. How many of you want to have an AI of yourself that can work 24-7 without you having to work one? Raise your hand. That'd be pretty good, right? How many of you want to make more money without spending more time on? Raise your hand. Okay, I see this is the right crop. Okay, very good. <laughs> so it can set appointments automatically. It's knowledge-based and powers it to recommend and sell Rev22 Energia products. And I program the AI to follow my specific sales script to sell. Okay, so in the future, people will start making purchasing decisions based on AI. For example, if you're going to sell property, I build a property AI that I crawl basically all the, all, all the properties in Propnex, etc., uh, to, to build an AI. But let me ask you, if you want to buy a property, would you trust asking one agent who has access to maybe 20 or 50 properties? Or would you rather trust an AI that has access to millions of properties if you want to buy, let's say, a two-bedroom condo? Would you rather ask AI or would you rather ask like a human agent? You most likely ask AI because of the data because of the data set that is trained on. Okay? Another thing that I help my mom to build is this thing called an automated webinar. Okay? So I built an automated webinar for, for her. So it feels like it's live, right? But it's actually automated. And just this automated webinar, I right, was driving about $20,000 a week 
Make sales for her. How many of you don't mind making twenty thousand dollars a week? Right? Raise your hand. Okay, pretty good, huh? Right? Uh, this this webinar made her about uh, two hundred thousand dollars over a few months. Okay, okay. Now, so I'm going to share with you how an AI is programmed. Okay, y'all can start writing notes if you want. Okay, okay. There's three phases in programming an AI. Okay, this right, these three things down. The first phase is training. Okay, so phase one is training. So we start by training this AI on a specific data set. Uh, and I can train up to six million characters of content, okay? So which means one letter is one, one character, like A, B, C is, is one character, right? Okay, so, and I can train the AI in four ways, okay? These are these four ways out. Files, okay? That means I can upload PDF and docs to the AI to train it on the specific data. Text, that means I can copy and paste text and put it into the AI. The third way is through links, which means, for example, for Dr. Energy AI, I, I crawl every single link of the AI, every single thing of a of a website, okay, and I put the the data into the AI. So through links, okay, and the fourth way is through Q and A. So that means I, I tell the AI when people ask you this question, this is the answer. When people tell you this question, this is the answer. So these are the four ways that I program the AI. Okay, now that's phase one training. The second phase is in programming. So I can train the AI. I can program the AI to perform specific tasks. For example, I can say, oh, you are the best appointment setter in the world. Oh, you are the best salesperson in the world. Oh, you are the best therapist in the world. Oh, you are the best tutor in the world. So I train the AI to, I, I program the AI to follow my specific script on how I sell, to follow my specific script on how I do tutoring, to follow my specific script on how to do therapy for people. Okay? And then the phase three is iterating. So what we do is after the AI is built and people start talking to the AI, right? So we'll, we'll, let's say if there's a response that we don't like, we will edit the response so that the next time someone asks the same questions, that it will be the, the correct response. Does that make sense? Fair enough? Okay, good. Now, so with AI in health, there's 24 7 availability, there's personalized recommendations, and it transforms purchase decisions. Okay? And the benefits of AI in decision making is because it's time saving. Like rather than the, okay, imagine if let's say uh, someone wants to buy the glove, but they have to go to the website and slowly find, hey, where to buy the glove? Huh? Do I click on shop? Do I click on emergent product? Where, where do I go? Right. So it, it's very slow, right? But versus if I can just ask an AI, it's it's a lot faster. Okay. So it's it's, it's time saving. It is increased productivity because it gives them exactly what they need rather than you know uh, like we're recommending the wrong things, and it empowers customers. So this is the rise of AI, and okay, let me show you some examples of AI uh, we've done, okay? So for example, I built an AI for this uh, STD claim. So they do like STD, uh, like HIV, hepatitis, etc. So people will click on the AI, and they can ask the AI questions about uh, thing, and the AI will help to set appointments for the clinic, okay? Another one I built is this thing called Tutor AI. So I built uh, the AI for English, Chinese, Math, Science, Geography, History, etc. I crawled the whole syllabus, Singapore syllabus. I put it in the AI, and then the AI tutors students. And the difference between this AI and how other AIs work is that this AI does not give the answer to the students. This AI will ask the questions so that people come to the answers themselves. So okay, this stimulates critical thinking. I went to MOE. I talked to the professors there, Dr. Chang, Dr. Lin, and Dr. Fu. Okay. And like they share with me their, their software. Their software can, for example, uh, edit essays. So you can tell them which words are wrong, etc. I said, yeah, this AI can do the same thing. It can edit essays, it can write essays, it can tell you how to write an essay, okay? It can give you like pointers on how to write a better essay. And it can also do grammar correction, uh, vocabulary correction, all those kind of stuff, okay? Uh, we also built a uh, real estate AI. So it's a, uh, it creates, there's different information about like TV things, etc. Et cetera. So uh, if like you're looking for a two bedroom condo, then the AI will recommend to you a two bedroom condo and give you the agent's contact to contact, okay, to set an appointment, etc. We also built Lux Glow AI, which is a customized beauty skincare routine, and uh, it recommends skincare product. Uh, we have uh, we, yeah, okay, and then uh, we, we have an AI with uh, I, I also built this thing called Eric AI. Okay, so I thought I told myself, how can I create an AI version of myself? Because I do coaching, I've trained more than 1,800 people on marketing, branding, and sales. I train people on Facebook marketing. So a lot of people ask me for one-to-one -one advice, right? And I charge like $2,500 per hour for one-to-one -one advice. So I ask myself, how can I duplicate myself and be able to coach people and train people without uh, costing me too much of time and energy? So I, I put all my content, all my Facebook accelerator course, all my superstar brand course, all my courses, I put into the AI 
So now people can ask my AI any questions one to one, and it works 24 7. At 4 a.m., they want to ask a question, also it's okay. Is that pretty powerful? Yes, yeah, right? And I've actually did a speed test, right? Okay, I tested uh, Eric.ai versus ChatGPT4 versus Google Bug and Microsoft Big AI. Okay, I said, do a 10 step pitch to sell durian. And uh, Eric.ai was able to sell, like, create a pitch to a way better, yeah, sure way better than, than uh, Microsoft being AI, etc. I can give you the video to watch if you want, but you just have to search Eric.ai versus ChatGPT or something like that. Uh, Eric.ai versus ChatGPT, Google Bug, and Microsoft Big. And you can see, like, if I ask AI, do a 10 step pitch to sell durian. The the AI the ChatGPT for Google Bug and Microsoft Bing would say would tell you okay step one introduction step two do this step three do this step four do this but when you ask uh Eric AI you'll say something like uh you become part of a rich cultural heritage durian has been enjoyed for centuries and by embracing this food you can carry on the tradition and pass it down to future generations etc now the reason why Eric AI can do copywriting better than all these other platforms is is because. I've trained on the top copywriting books, for example, Breakthrough Advertising by Eugene Schwartz, Copywriting Secrets by Jim Edwards, and all the top copywriting books. So I've trained the AI to be able to do copy better than a Google Bar, Microsoft Bing, etc. Of course, I know that this competitive advantage won't last for very long. After maybe three months, six months, this is an AI race, right? They will <laughs> overtake. But as of now, I, I would say this still writes copy better. Okay? As of today, I check. Yeah. Um, yeah, Eric.ai has been featured on Digital Journal, etc. And okay, let me show you an example of our sales AI being embedded on different checkout pages. So for example, let's say there's a checkout page, right? And people want to ask like what questions they have, etc. So you can embed the AI, okay? It can even be embedded in an automated webinar. So the AI can sell in the automated webinar itself. Okay? So the AI can like people have, people have any questions about let's say about the the um, like the program or what, the AI can answer those questions as well. Uh, yeah, okay. so this, this is how it looks like when it's embedded on different things, okay? And then the best part is also it is an integrated with Zapier, so I can integrate it with thousands of over applications, okay? That's all I have. Thank you so much. I hope you all uh, learned something from today. Let's give the AI a quick, quick round of applause. Thank you. Thanks.